Hey guys, so as you saw in the last video, I uh, saved my information, my G code over to this card. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the side of this machine. Now, what I've done is I've taken uh, some napkins and I've wet them so that it'll take and loosen up this glue that's on the print bed. I just didn't feel like having to remove the print bed and, and take it and wash it off. I'm being lazy today. So, <laughs> by doing that, it softened all the glue that's on the print bed. So what I'm going to do now is take some more napkins, take that one off and toss it, and then I'm just going to take and wipe up this glue. It's nice and wet. It'll come right up now. So I'll just clean that off and then I'll go give it a once over with some rubbing alcohol to finish cleaning it off the rest of the way. Now the thing about rubbing alcohol that a lot of people forget, yes it's 91% isopropyl alcohol, but it is 9% water. <laughs> so anything that's water soluble, it will definitely, uh, it will eventually remove it, not to the level that regular water will, but it uh, can help remove the rest of it. But the thing about the, the alcohol portion of it is it will take and remove any of the oils from your skin or anything that way that could have gotten on that glass. Um, that's one of the reasons why I always try to wipe down my print beds uh, just before I use them with alcohol. Even when I'm using BuildTac, I'll uh, wipe down the print bed before I print and that helps it stick a little bit nicer. That's feeling pretty clean. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let that dry for a moment. And while that is drying, I'm going to reach over here, grab my glue stick. Now, as you saw from the last video, I'm getting ready to print out a bunch of these uh, keychains, uh, the Denver Bronco keychains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and the glass is nice and, and dry now. I'm going to go ahead and run a coat of glue stick over the majority of this print bed. Now, I did take, and in the model, or on uh, Kira, I took the one uh, keychain that was all the way the furthest to the left, and I leapfrogged it to the right. So that way I make sure that everything is, is over to this side. Now, if you look back at that video, you'll see where, how I moved the first one over, and then I took and I went and sliced it. And then just imagine I took that furthest one furthest to the left and I moved it over. And we'll see how that prints out on this print bed. And I almost guarantee you all of them will be shifted over where it almost looks like it's centered. I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, guys. So I got everything all set up. I'm going to go ahead and start the printer up. And I'll uh, start the time lapse. And then when I get to the point where I need to change the color, I will come right back to you. Okay guys, so we've reached the point now where I need to go ahead and change the filament. I've let it uh, go up about two or three layers on uh, the embossed portion of the, of the model. So what I'm going to do right now, let me go ahead and put the camera down here so you can see what I'm going to do. Right now I've got it on the information screen. Uh, you can access that screen by just hitting the I. The other way you can go back to the home screen. That shows you all the details of what's going on. So what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to pause the print. I'm going to say yes, I want to pause the print. As you can see, when I go up here, it is going to a home position, which is great. This is actually a, a huge improvement over what I've had to deal with in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... I want to keep everything hot, but I want to go ahead and switch out the filament. 
So filament, change filament. We're going to unload. I want to get that trim back on. And let me raise this up higher so you can see what I'm doing up here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and extrude a little bit of filament and then I'm going to pull it on out. And I usually like to do it by hand that way. That way I can pull it out and you can see the shape of the hot end on the inside or the nozzle. That way I know I got it cleaned out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off so I can use that at a later time. I'm going to go ahead and change the filament out real quick. here. I'm running it through the filament sensor on the back side. Unfortunately this roll of Shaxton is a little bit too wide <laughs> for my spool holder so I'm going to have to put a, a different spool holder on the back side but it's all right. I'll do that in a moment. Go ahead and load this filament. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm clearing out the filament that was in there. I'm also checking to see if the heat is going to be about right. This actually feels like it needs a little bit more heat. So I'm going to go ahead and increase. Let me show you down here what I'm doing. If I can, I'll just go ahead and lower everything down. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and increase the temperature by hitting that. Let's raise it up to 220 and just see if that, that feels about right. Okay, so I know I'm going to have to go to 220, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home. I'm going to go back to the, this is the same as a play button, but you hit that button there. And now what I'm wanting to do So it's going to want to go back to 210, but i got to wait till it gets back into position before I can change the... Oh, they went back to 215. Good. Maybe I'll just stay there. As soon as it recovers, then I can go back in to the information screen. We can increase that temperature up to 220. And should be good to go. And as you can see up here, it's back to printing. So this time should start seeing the orange come through. Yeah, a little tinge of it there. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, going to set it back up for the time lapse and I'll see you at the end of it. Okay, so that was six hours and eight minutes. And I could tell they didn't, some of them didn't turn out the greatest, like this one back here. And I don't blame the printer, I blame the filament. Uh, Shaxon is the is a brand filament that you can pick up at, uh, oh, Prize Electronics. And it just, that's one of the reasons why I've kind of went away from it, is because it just doesn't print as well as other filaments. I should have used a, sa a sample that uh, Calvin gave me, but that prints at a little bit higher temperature. I just wanted to do something I'd, I'd used before, and I kind of regret I did. But anyway, for the most part, it turned out pretty good. You can see where the color change came in. But see over here on this right there, it didn't fill in all the way. And this one back here... Let's see if I can get it off without too much trouble. There we go. 
see how that one just didn't turn out at all <laughs> yeah so anyway that's one bum one right there it looks like the rest of them uh, that one probably isn't going to be the greatest that one either the rest of them look like they turned out good enough though but uh anyway that's uh how you do the color change mid print um i'm going to take and uh, try it again I, i'll i'll try using that sample that uh calvin gave me and see if i can print some up with that i think it'll look a lot but you know turn out better it's just the shaxon just doesn't i don't know it's just something about it it just doesn't print as well as as say hatchbox or emz 3d or or any of the other brands um and with it printing at a different temperature as well, that probably doesn't help. Um, having to turn it up like I did. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.